children you have. Thank you. How are you, dear? Everything's fine. Good morning, Mom. Mom, no, I can't come and bring you Good any morning. groceries today. Pasha! Because I don't know how long it'll take for us to get to Vosnesens because of the traffic. Mikhail. So I do it alone? Well, I'm having guests over this evening. I have to cook dinner and, in fact, make myself look presentable. And you want me to go shopping. But, Mom, we can't be late for tomorrow's wedding. Come on, Mom, come well, on, like don't this. do it. Just don't. Don't be offended. You have your own car. I mean, you can go to the supermarket yourself, okay? Bye. Get into the car quickly. What are we boys. doing here? We'll come here, both of you, to the sub spinch. Footballers, quickly. Catch the ball. Watch your feet now. Alia's Troubles, Part 1. This is great. He can't be late to see his mother-in-law. And doesn't care about me. Don't worry, don't worry, Larissa. We're about to finish. Hmm. You'll have just enough time to drop into the supermarket. What do you mean, the supermarket, Karina? That's not why I came to visit you. I'm here because of a man. And his inability to be forthcoming with me. Huh. Unbelievable. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Oh, well, what can you do? He has a family. That's it, family. His wife is to blame for everything. She really <laughs> controls him. Mm. And what about her mother? They say she's getting married. <laughs> That's the point. She's getting married at 50 for the first time in her life. Can you imagine this mm. family? Yeah. Who's her daughter's father? Who knows at this point? A rascal of some kind. Hmm. You know, when he found out that she was pregnant, he immediately yeah. ran away. Yeah. Well, well then, that's all. Karina, hmm. do you really think that we should have done it shorter like this? Hmm? No, 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 no. Here, do something with this. Yeah. Oh, well, who are you beautifying yourself for, Larissa? I guess you're going to have uh, a date. Oh, my dear. Any woman who wants to prolong her youth must keep up, even if nobody cares about her appearance. Thank you, hun. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Love it. A beautiful haircut and a beautiful Karina. <laughs> it's a wonderful job. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. <sighs> well, pour some more! Enough, 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 enough. Don't hurry. Help yourself. Help yourself! <gasps> Kiss her! Kiss <laughs> her! Kiss <laughs> her! Kiss <laughs> her! <laughs> Kiss <laughs> her! <laughs> 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 Oh, come on, Victor, you can do come it! On, Victor, I have faith in you! Oh, ah, come on! Good job, well done. <laughs> oh. Oh. <clears throat> Dear Mommy, You've always told me that if a person deserves happiness... Congratulations! ...then it must come to him on its own. So you finally found your true happiness, and I wish for you that it is lasting. Valya, okay, enough. Finish up, please. People want to have fun here. Oh, well, right, Valya. You stop wagging your tongue. Start People it. want to dance. Okay. Come on. Turn on the music. <laughs> oh. Well, young people, is everything okay? Great. Clava, aren't you bored? Let's go dancing. Madam, shall we dance? A 
I beg you. Well, the wedding, it's, it's once in a lifetime. Well, for some people. <laughs> come on, come okay. on. Okay, that's a good thing. Stefan? <laughs> Strange guys, huh? So suspicious. Why are they strange? Why suspicious? They're having fun, just having fun for once. Just relax. Well, yeah. Danila, Lord, here so I am. Well, where have you been? I began to worry. Well, stop it, please. I'm only ten minutes late. Have you chosen clothes for yourself? Well, there's a pretty cardigan there and some good shoes, but the prices are way too... So what? Let it be my problems. Let's go. Show me. Let's go. Larissa. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not giving you a gift. When you can, you'll pay it back, okay? Deal. <laughs> what, are you bored, relative? Let's drink to new friends. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but I don't drink vodka. Who says that? Oh, no, he's afraid of his wife! Hand-packed husband, you understand? <laughs> Victor! Oh, oh, don't oh. embarrass him. Let him drink his <laughs> mineral water. Come on, come on, Victor. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> Don't be offended at their rough jokes. These are simple guys, truck drivers. But Victor is a reliable and kind man. He's reliable like a rock, really. Well... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why you sat down, huh? Who do you want to marry, huh? Him or me? <laughs> Oh, it's your turn. It's your turn. Well, okay. <laughs> come on. No, come on. I better get the boys home. They really should be in bed already. So let's go, fellas. Come on. Let's go. Come on now. Come on now. Valya, why is he so upset right now? It looks like he has come not to a wedding, but to a funeral. Yeah. He quarreled with his mother right before we left. And again, she thinks I'm to blame for everything. Your mother-in-law cannot be satisfied. She doesn't like me, Auntie Clava. She still can't forget that Mikhail left his fiance because of me. Well, then why do you live with her under one roof if she treats you so badly, darling? Well, we haven't lived together for two years, Stefan. We moved to a rented apartment. That is good, though. And we'll buy our own place soon. Mikhail is a serious and responsible man. She doesn't own you. After all, you have your own life, too. Come on and dance! We have a wedding! So shall we go together? I don't want to wake up the boys. They didn't get enough sleep yesterday because of the noise. And then I'm not sure that Larissa will be happy to see me. Well, all right. I won't be long, though. I'll give her the gifts from tomorrow, and then I'll return right after.
Larissa, thank God you're back. I'm hungry as a wolf. Make me something. Do it carefully and be patient. Wolf? Hmm. And where's Mom? M M Mom has gone to the grocery. She'll be back soon. I don't understand what's going on. <sighs> you must be Mikhail? Good afternoon. Uh... You returned from the wedding so soon. We didn't expect you today. What we? Hold on. Who are you exactly? <laughs> I'm Danila. And why is the living room full of these random sticks? These aren't sticks, they're easels. I know that. What, did my mom take a painting? <laughs> no, you don't understand. These are my pictures. Larissa helps out young talents. Well, she lets me use her living room as a studio for the moment, but it's temporary, as you can tell by the mess. Mm -hmm. And why didn't she tell me anything about you, since you're such a big talent? I wouldn't know that, but you can come in and see for yourself, I guess. Please, come on in. This one is the sky pregnant with rain. With what? With rain? You call this art? It's the avant-garde. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That one is addiction. Yeah, 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 no, well, it's not good at all. Children draw things like this in elevators. Your late father would have never said that in his life. He was an outstanding art critic and a connoisseur of avant-garde painting. It's weird I that I have his no son... intentions of discussing my father with the likes of you. Y yeah. Y yes you're right. I'm sorry then. Well, all right. Okay. I won't wait for my mother. I'm in a hurry. Just give her the presents, all right? From her daughter-in-law. All right. Well then, shall we go? Let's go then. No, well, it's a no-brainer that this dude is only interested in my mother's money. Which is, by the way, my money as well. Uh, Mikhail, well, your mother has a right to have her personal life too. <laughs> And if I stop sponsoring these bohemian entertainments, well, then we will just have to see what will happen to our personal life. This pathetic little gigolo will immediately run away. Well, I am sure, but maybe we shouldn't quarrel with your mother. Why, why do we need more quarrels with her? Let her live her life. As she pleases? Well, this painter settled in her beautiful apartment. He arranged a studio there. The thing is, he doesn't have his own home. And we are here with our children living in a rented apartment, and it's fine with her. Mikhail. It's normal. <sighs> well, calm down. Soon we'll have our own apartment, too. <sighs> By the way, Svita and Edik are throwing a housewarming party on Saturday, remember? Ah. Well, you'll have to go to the housewarming party without me. The day after tomorrow... I'm leaving for China. <sighs> Negotiations with suppliers, so I thank you that I'm not hungry. Well then, wanna walk? With pleasure. Where shall we go? There. Let's go. Danila, well, why are you silent all the time? You didn't like the performance, did you? Well, I don't like theater in general. Oh. 
there will be a concert of the Tuleni Band on Saturday. That's going to be cool. The Tuleni Band? I've never heard of them. Must be interesting, right? Indeed, they're, they're very cool. I wish I were free on Saturday. I can't go. Why? I'll be looking after my grandchildren that day. What about their mom? Their mom is going to visit her university friend. They have a housewarming party, and Mikhail left for a business trip today, so... So she can have fun, but yet you can't? Uh, well, no, it's just that my son really asked me, you know. To look after the boys on Saturday, well, I had to agree. I don't want to quarrel with him. I've already quarreled with him on the phone because I met you. Yeah, yeah. They're simply selfish people who don't want to admit that you must have a life. Aren't you fed up with being treated like a worthless thing? Danila. Mm. Well, let's not talk about it today again, shall we? Such a beautiful evening. And the performance, by the way, was very good. You don't understand anything. I'll explain it later. All right. Uh -huh. to our cozy new home. Please come in, huh? Wow, what a cozy home. It's more like a palace. Well, it's not finished yet. The main thing is <laughs> that the district is convenient. Both my shops are close and there's no traffic. Sveta. <laughs> Valia. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a pity Mikhail wasn't able to come. We wanted to celebrate in a close, friendly circle. Didn't you invite anyone else? Mm. There is one person. Who? Well, maybe you won't recognize him now. Come in. Don't be afraid. Turn around. Yuri? <laughs> yeah, really? he's recognized you. So you haven't grown that old. Um, <laughs> really? How long haven't we seen each other? For yes, about 10 years? since you left the university years ago. <laughs> so, Edith, let's go to the kitchen. Let's go. L let's go. You'll have a talk in the meantime. Yeah. Um, imagine, yesterday I came to a gas station and ran into Sveta. Mm. Well, she invited me, and she said that you would mm. be here. Well, and what do you do? Uh... I'm, I'm a lawyer. And so you like it? Well, it depends. Is your husband a, a diplomat? Who told you that? Well, Edict said he's on a business <laughs> trip in China. No, he has negotiations with suppliers there. Mikhail has a small company selling household appliances. Ah. Oh, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Don't interrupt. Uh, go, go, go. Uh. Well, uh, you have children? Yes. Two boys, born a year apart. Pasha six and Slavik's five. I'll show you a picture. Here. The other day I took some photos. This is Slavik, and this is Pasha. And mm. this is Mikhail. <laughs> Good looking boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys? Uh, yeah. Dinner? Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's yeah. go, let's go. Uh, I'm happy for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Come on, boys. Tea is served. <laughs> quiet, 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 quiet. Slavik, what are you doing? Here, you have a little jam dish. You're eating like a caveman. Here, help yourself. But our neighbor Dimka eats like this, and they don't scold him for that like you do. What are you talking about? Have you even washed your hands? Oh, I forgot. Oh, I you. forgot. How many times did Mom tell you about your hands, dumbhead? Pasha, who talks like this? Did your mother teach you to swear like that? No, Daddy. Mom never says bad words. Why are you lying to me? Hmm? Why are you talking bad things about my mother? Pasha, come back. Pasha, come back. Okay, well, eat, my good boy. Come on, eat, eat. Come on, eat. No, I don't want to. My hands are really dirty. What is it, a strike or what? Have you ganged up against me, Slavic? Okay, go to sleep hungry then.
Don't worry, I told you. We'll be there in about half an hour. I promised my mother-in-law I'd be back before 10. She stayed with the boys. Well, we're almost there, my dear. I'm sorry. What about your private life? <laughs> Nothing. A lot of work. Listen, why did you leave the university? <laughs> we were all stunned. You would have made a good teacher for sure. Well, what can I say? There were reasons. Help me, please help me out. Please, I beg you to help me. My husband is sick. The ambulance isn't coming. Please. And where is your He's husband? He's in the park. In the park, lying on a bench. Will you help me? Will you help me? Well, come on, get in. Where oh, is it? Hurry up. Hello? Hello, yes. Well, finally, you remembered. In the hospital? What's wrong? And a person is sick. Valia, what does it have to do with you? No, why? I understand. I understand. It's only that if you remember, you promise not to be late. I, by the way, can also have my own things to do. Yes, yes. Okay, bye-bye. Well, thank God. Apparently just high blood pressure. That's it, we must go. Don't panic over it. He's fine. Do you often have such banquets at the entrance? I don't know. I've never seen them before. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much for this, but I must go now. Valia, uh, let me take you to the front door. Well, just in case, you know. Thank you very much for walking me to the door. As a matter of fact, I'm glad I saw you. Yeah, me too. Ah, uh, Valia, here's my, uh... Good evening. I mean, good night. And good night to you. Valia, why do you keep the gentleman at the landing? Invite him in. No, thank you. I'm gonna go. Why, what's wrong? You're such a dear guest. Valia even forgot about her own children. Larissa, I explained everything to you, didn't I? Mm-hmm. I've heard that fable a hundred times. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have you put the children to bed? Of course I did. Fortunately, they have long been asleep. They could survive without seeing you in the company of your admirer. What kind of admirer, Larissa? What's wrong? Why are you making a drama scene out of it, huh? A drama scene? A drama scene is your specialty. Your life with Mikhail continues to be a drama. All these years, you've only been pretending to love Mikhail. Perfectly arranged. You live like a princess. You don't work. Holy dependent. Well, you know I don't work because of the children. You know that. Stop it. 
If you wanted to help your husband, you would have found a job and sent the boys to the kindergarten. That's what I wanted to do, but Mikhail was against <gasps> it. Oh, yes. Of course, you always agree with your husband when it is beneficial for you. And Mikhail probably thinks that he has a golden wife. And as soon as he left, you started hanging out with other men. Enough! That is quite enough, Larissa. You just want to throw mud at me, don't you? You have hated me ever since the first day you met me. You were dreaming of getting Mikhail married to the daughter of some banker. Oh, that's what you really think? Interesting, interesting. Well then, do you think that I'm so money-focused? No, dear, you're wrong. You're very wrong. I just see Mikhail bend over backwards, work for four. He doesn't have a minute free. I don't even remember when I last spoke with him heart to heart since you came. That is not what bothers you, Larissa. Otherwise, you wouldn't have tried so hard to drive us away from your home. And you don't need Mikhail to talk heart to heart at all. You know that I'm right. And why do I need my son? I wonder that. To sponsor your entertainments with young talents. You know that is basically it. Say what? How dare you say this? What do you think you're saying? Have you completely lost your shame? You're crazy. You deserve to share some of the shame. Well, that's too much. Remember, Valia, I will never forgive you this conversation. I will never set foot in this horrible house again. Mom! Oh, Mikhail, my dear son, you've come. Hello, Mom, hello. <laughs> uh-huh, oh. How was your business trip? Well, the business trip was good, Mom. Uh, why did you make a scene while I was away, though? Well, no. It's your little wife who did it. You see, she finds it strange that I don't like it when she's unfaithful to my son. Oh, stop it. Valya already told me exactly what happened in there. And you believe her. So big and so naive. You know I watched them on the stairs. And what did they do? Were they hugging? Were they kissing? No. So what then? They were looking at each other. <gasps> I know this looks very suspicious overall. Only lovers look like this. You are definitely the person oh, to know please. it. I have no doubt. Yeah. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Larissa. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's go home and talk. Too many ears here. Let's go, let's go. <sighs> I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll be right there. it in the house. I told you already, okay? Wow, who is this? These are my university friends right here. And what'd you go to university for, Emma? To properly educate children. Exactly. That's why I studied. Well, all right, come on, let's go. The scooter must be put back into its place. <sighs> Mikhail, son. Ah. Uh. Well, you should understand that if the wife doesn't love her husband, then she will be unfaithful for sure. Valia doesn't love you. No. I feel it in my heart. I feel oh, it in my heart as your mother, okay? Again. 
You know, maybe we really should be talking about your personal life, huh? Can you imagine this? You've taken a young lover and you are lecturing other people. What is this? How many times do I have to tell you? I've told you a thousand times there is nothing between me and Danila. We are just friends. Is that not clear to you? Really? And what is this boy doing in your place? He just comes and paints? And has intelligent conversations with you? Well, exactly. He just paints and we just talk. That is all. Uh -huh. At least I don't uh -huh. feel so lonely with him. But mom, what kind of loneliness are you talking about? You have me. You have grandchildren. You know what? It seems to me lately that neither my grandchildren nor my son are interested in me, not one bit. Oh, Mom, enough, huh? You sound like a broken record. Enough, please. I don't get what you want. Have you ever thought how I live? What is it like uh, to be alone in this empty apartment for weeks and wait for someone to remember me, you know? When your father was alive, people came to us every evening. We went to museums, theaters... Exhibitions, we had some other interesting life, and now what, Mikhail? Emptiness. I can't live like this. I'm just not used to it. I feel bad, Mikhail. I'm just feeling bad. Can you understand? Of course, yes. And now, at last, finally, here he is, the savior. Our young painter in the flesh. You know what? At least this is the only person who is interested in my life instead of just their own needs. It's not your life that he's interested in. But your entertainments and gifts that he gets thanks to you, well, that's, that's all it enough. is. Well, that's enough. You've all schemed against me. Uh -huh. You don't know him at all, okay? I'm not going to. And that's to. why you can't say I'm that. I'm not going to you get to know him. You don't have to then, son. I don't know. All right, enough of that, Mom. I must go, though. Bye. Well, here it is. Already leaving. That's exactly what I was saying. Well, Mom. I'm going to the office. To earn some money for us all. Hmm. Yes, and one more thing. Mom, please just find a common language with Valia. No, I'm not asking you to love her. No, not at all. None of that. But there must be some decencies observed. I spoke with her. She's ready to make peace with you. What? Yeah. Oh, ready? Oh, thank you very much. After what happened on Saturday, it's impossible. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what you can okay. tell her. Do as you please, Mom. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Mom. Take care, my dear son. Yes, hello? What? Tell me when exactly it happened. Well, I'll be right there. Mikhail? Huh? What's wrong? There was a fire in the warehouse. Was it serious? I don't know how serious it was. Our goods were inside, though. <laughs> Everything's burned down. <laughs> Looks like there was a short in the wiring. That's what the firemen say. The insurance company will pay next to nothing. We have nothing left on the accounts. Well, the money was invested in the purchase of goods, and now they're, they're ashes. Look at this. Well, that means that there's nothing left to pay off debts well, on exactly. loans, right? We don't have anything left to sell. What if we try refinancing the loan, providing security? Okay, we're already behind on interest payments. If we don't pay at least half before the end of the month, We'll end up being sued, and that's not good for either one of us. So what, then? 
How are we going to get out of it, lawyer? I don't know. If we had a little money to get some new purchases in. In general, there's only one option. To invest my own savings in here. Mikhail, we've saved this money for an apartment. So what? To go bankrupt and be sued? I'll have to sell the car as well. Chris, what is it? Is it your heart again? Yeah, a little. Look, <laughs> let me drive the car and I'll take no. you to the hospital. I don't want to go there. It's, it's getting better now. Just take me home instead, please. Let's go. Valya! Hello. Hello. What are you here for? I had a meeting with a client really close by today. You want me to give you a lift? No, thanks. I live not far from here. So what? Why should you carry the bags? I'll drive you. Okay. You okay? <sighs> yes, Mikhail has problems at work. I think everything will work out. Roman, yeah. the metro station is right around the corner. Go to the avenue and you'll see it on the right, okay? Yeah, I remember. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Mikhail. Yeah? Maybe I'll help you up, okay? Don't worry, it's all right. Just please don't say anything to Valley about, about my heart, you know? All right. <laughs> yeah, Jenny, I received your draft statement of claim. Here's some things to be corrected. So what happened? Everything burned down. Listen, it'll be all right. Don't worry. Where are the boys? They went to the neighbors to play with Dima. Just don't tell them anything, okay? Well, of course, I won't tell them. I'm going to go to bed for a while. Already set the table. Mikhail? Belia, we must talk a second. Let's go. You better make peace with your daughter in law, Larissa. Why do you need unnecessary problems? No way. I also have my own principles. She insulted me one time. You told her a lot of stuff too, right? Well, everything I said is true. While she slandered me. No thanks. I can't have any peace with her at all, dear. Just remember, Larissa, that now she's going to be even angrier with you. And your relatives won't let us live peacefully. Mm-hmm. They're always ready to suspect anybody of abomination and perversion. They can't understand that there can be high platonic relations between two creative people. Oh. Deep spiritual connection. Absolutely. That's what I try to tell Mikhail, but he doesn't believe me. Because he doesn't listen to you. He only listens to his little wife, as she's already put in his head and will put even more things. I don't doubt it. Well, what should I do then? To accept the inevitable? No way. I'll probably have to move out, because I'm not going to humble myself before anyone. I was offered a job in the design bureau, by the way, so I can rent an apartment. <laughs> Danila, what are you talking about now? Well, what are you talking about? Well, who will I be Larissa, caring listen. about? What can you do if your son doesn't care that his own mother is suffering from loneliness and emptiness? I understand that 
He has a happy family and children. What kind of a family is it? I've already told you. Valia is having an affair for sure. I don't doubt it's it. It's only that he doesn't listen to you, but to her. Well, if he was convinced that she was cheating on him, then he wouldn't be bothered with his own problem and stop pressuring you instead. But how can I remove the scales from my eyes at this point? You'd know better than me. You're his mother. Come on, Larissa, think. Think about it. Well, in general, there is no other way out. All the money we've saved up for the apartment is to be used to pay back the bank debt. Oh well, if our fate is like this, <laughs> the debts must be paid. <laughs> well, that's okay. Everything will be fine. The main thing is that the company starts working normal, and then we'll take a mortgage, I guess. We'll be fine, though, I promise. Of course we'll be fine. It's not a tragedy. Really, it's just, just a problem. I'll go see my mom. I have to tell her everything about it, I think. Right now, dear? Maybe you should eat something first. I don't want to. But eat without me. All right, then. I'll see you. Mikhail, my dear, hello. Hello, Mom. You're alone? I, am. I told you. Danella will be back late at night. Well, that's good. Look, come on. I can't collect myself after this fire if you're <laughs> so horrible. Just horrible. Well, now I'm broke, Mom. Oh, just stop it. It's temporary difficulties. I hope so. But look, I can't give you as much money as I used to. Where is it at, though? Well, don't scare me right now, kid. Mikhail, you look awful. You look really pale. Do you want some tea? Mom, look, please, at this photograph? Could mm. this by any chance be the man that you saw with Balia? Yes, of course it is. Are you sure? Absolutely. I carefully examined him then. No, here he is, of course, younger. But you can't make a mistake. Mikkel, where did you get this picture? Well, I accidentally found it. It turns out that... They were looking at a photo album when he visited us, and that's that's about what it. What do you mean he visited you? Was he at your actual home? Yes. Today. Oh. How far it's gone. So when you're not at home, Valia has other men visiting her at your own place? No way, Mom. Valia told me nothing, really. Nothing like this, though, I guess. Uh... I just accidentally ran into him at the entrance, and then I found a wait, photo wait, wait. and realized and some things. where are the boys? When she accepted him, were they at home? <sighs> no, the children... The children were in another apartment. They were playing with our neighbor's boy. Even worse. Yeah. Uh, I hope you understand now that I was right about Valia. It's not just an affair. This has been a long-lasting relationship since she was a student. Really? Really. Well, then tell me, why did she marry me and not him, then? I don't know. Maybe she was under the impression that you were a better catch. But now, Mikkel, when you have such financial difficulties, I think she can easily change her mind. And I wouldn't be surprised if she already had Plan B. You think so? Yes. I'm sure. <laughs> All right, Mikhail. Divorce isn't the worst thing in this life. It's much more terrible to live with a woman who's cheating on you. Wait up, Mom. What kind of a divorce? We have children. Children. Are you sure that you're raising your children yourself? Hmm? What are you doing? I didn't teach you like that, please. Oh, yeah! Let's throw them into the sky, finally! Good idea. Come on. Ooh. 
Like a pinwheel. Ooh. I have told you so many times you can't get up on the windowsill. It's too dangerous. We were launching paper planes. When we become pilots, we'll fly actual planes so high. Pilots, let's have lunch now, please. Oh, and by the way, according to British biologists, in mm. the world, mm. one mm. man out mm. of four is raising <sighs> his wife's lover's children. What are you and Valia like? Brown-haired, aren't you? Yes, and Slavic as well, by the way. And Pasha? Some kind of not ours, do you think so? Well, not like our kin. That's it, Mom. Enough already for you today, okay? You're just afraid to learn the whole truth. The truth. How can you know it, then? Uh, Mikhail? Yeah? Do you remember Mr. Kedrov? Mr. Kedrov? A doctor, isn't he? Who works in the hospital? Oh, yes. Well, yes, yes, yes. He's not just a doctor, but... He's the head of the genetic research department, you know. You mm -hmm. and Pasha should go there and have a DNA test. In a few days, everything will be clear. Hmm? Well, what can I tell Pasha then? Where shall we go? Not a problem. All boys love secrets. Tell him that this is your secret from his mom and he won't tell anyone. Huh? All right. Well, it sounds like a plan. Pasha knows how to keep his word. If he promises something, then he won't speak a word. Okay, Mikkel. Mm. Shall I go and call? I'll call now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is Mr. Kedrov here? Expecting you? Of course. Then go ahead in. I am very touched, Mrs. Vasilyeva, that you remembered me. I respected your husband tremendously and my daughter Yuleshka, too. Oh, thank you so very After much. After all, it was him who made Yuleshka into an artist. Uh, by the way, how is Yuleshka doing now? It's not easy. Serious painting isn't very popular now. Especially when the artist doesn't have a big name, at least. Oh, I know this very well. It's a very difficult time for young talents right now, Doctor. And how is your Mikhail? Mikhail. That's why I've come to you, Mr. Kedrov, to talk about Mikhail. He has lots of problems at the moment, both in business and in his personal life. I thought he was happily married. He has two children, doesn't he? <laughs> so what? This is just an illusion of a happy marriage, but in fact, you know, Mr. Kedrov, his, his wife appeared not to be the person we thought she was. Well, in general, as they say, it's the quiet ones you got to watch. She only wants money from Mikhail. Well, it would be okay, but she's cheating on him without even hiding. Takes lovers into his home and everybody, everybody sees it. Well, what a shame. And Mikkel seems to have some kind of veil before his eyes. He doesn't want to notice anything. It's not for nothing. They say love is blind. Yes. So I want to ask you, Mr. Kedrov, to help him, so to speak, to wake up and see. Me? But how do we do that? You see, Doctor, I have a big suspicion that the eldest son of Mikkel, my grandson, Pasha, is not his son. And I convinced him to do a DNA paternity test as soon as possible. Ah, so that's what you wanted to ask me about, right? Of course, let him come with the boy. He can come tomorrow. The procedure is elementary. The results will be ready in two days. Yes, 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 I know that. But if the result suddenly shows that Pasha is his son, then what? Well, then you can just congratulate Mikhail. Congratulate on what? On the fact that he will have to stay under the spell of this awful woman. Well, there's nothing I can do to help you there. You can. Mr. Kedrov, you can, though. Mikhail doesn't believe me when I say that, well, she's cheating on him. But if he sees a medical document confirming this fact, then he will really believe. I don't understand what you're driving at, Larissa.
The falsifying of DNA test results, Mrs. Antipova. That is serious forgery. Mikhail? Has something happened? Do you love me? What a question. Of course I love you. Well, I've thought it all through. Your lab technicians will bring you the test results. You'll write your opinion and give it to Mikkel. That's all you have to do. Well, you're the boss here. Your subordinates won't be checking what you have written so far. No, it's impossible. This is a direct deception. It's a violation of medical ethics. Uh, Mr. Kedrov. Well, I beg you, please. Well, I ask you in memory of my late husband. Lord, if he if he had only known what this slut turned my McHill's life into. How this slut humiliates him, crushes his life. He would have gone mad from grief, and he would have agreed that with this deception, merely to save Mikhail from this terrible marriage. <laughs> Mikhail, I don't want him to suffer. <laughs> He's humiliated. I just can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you say that, Mrs. Antipova. He must believe me. Oh, Mrs. Antipova, calm down. Do you really think that Mikhail will divorce her if he knows that his son is not really his? You must believe me. This is the only, it's the only chance to save Mikhail. It's the only chance. Of course, I want to help you. Technically, I could do what you're asking for. It's dishonorable. Uh, it's not our fault. That in this world it's very difficult to survive, guided only by honesty, you know, doctor. Oh, well, I completely forgot. Uh, you said that Yuleshka had big problems. Please give this to her from the widow of her beloved teacher. With best wishes, would you please? I need to think it through. Let's talk on the phone this evening. Thank you, sir. And forgive me. I hope you understand. Mm. The heart of a mother. But, but how come Dad didn't come with us, huh? He promised to take a walk with us today, Mom. Dad has some work to do, kiddos. He said that he wasn't going to go to work for a while. He said he wouldn't go there every day like he used to. Today, he just has some kind of meeting. But Dad and Pasha went somewhere instead, right? But they didn't take me with them. We explained this to you. We went to buy a gift. You wanted it to be a surprise. <sighs> but you never given me the gift. We'll be patient. We'll give it to you on your birthday. And Dad didn't play football with us. He promised us that. Well, that's okay. Give me the ball. I'll play with you. Hey, Catch out, hey. dog! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'm here because I need to recover some test results. What's your name? Antipov. Dr. Kedrov is waiting for you. Well then, thank you. Mikhail, I'm sorry that I had to postpone our meeting for a week. I had to go to Berlin for a conference. I only returned yesterday. I've looked at your results. Well, what is it? I respected your dad tremendously, so it's particularly difficult for me to give you the bad news, but Pasha has a different biological, biological father. What does that mean, though? Well, we 
can't establish this unless Pasha's biological father comes to us himself. One thing is obvious. Pasha isn't your son. Your DNA doesn't match his. Wait, then. Do you, uh, have a medical report, then? Yes, of course. In fact, I've already told you everything. I still don't understand anything I here. advise you not to despair and to take a philosophical approach. By the way, British doctors claim that one in every ten men brings up his wife's lover's child, sadly. <laughs> really? And my mother said that one in every four. Statistics are different. The bottom line is that no one's immune to deception. Yes. Of course. Yes, Mom? I've just seen Mr. Kedrov. We need to talk, though. Uh-huh, that's all. I'm coming. Mikhail? Well, what kind of more proof do you need, darling? In my opinion, it's very clear. You can't stay with a woman like Valya. You're still young, Mikhail. Well, you'll still find your happiness. In the end, there's Ladishka. She's single again. Ladishka? Well, your ex fiance Ladishka. Ah. Uh. She's divorced again. Karina told me, my hairdresser. Ladishka uses her services too. <laughs> you know everything about everyone, but. <sighs> Mikkel, I'm just thinking. Why don't you go ahead and try to resume relations with her? Well, she's such a pretty woman, huh? How much I liked her. By the way, her dad can solve all your financial problems. Yes, of course. And yours too, huh? Uh, in any case, dear. I believe that the only worthy response to Valia's behavior can only be a divorce. You know that is true. Well, what about Slavic? Or are you saying he is not my own son either? No, I don't want to say that. You can see Slavic after the divorce. By the way, you can help him too, which is quite natural. But when Slavic grows up, he will understand what forced you to leave the family behind. No. No! I first have to talk to Valya, and then I'll decide what to do. What are you going to talk to her about? She still won't tell you the truth. She'll be devious until the end. We shall see, Ma. Uh, we but, shall see. But come on, believe me, Mikhail. Well, you can't pick up the pieces of a broken cup. There will still be a crack there. Do you understand? Yes, I love her. You understand, huh? What kind of love is it? This is an illusion, not love. There's no Valia who you loved anymore. It's time for you to start a new life. She has vanished. Your Valia's become a hardened liar, that's all. Mikhail, what is it, my boy? What's wrong with you, Mikhail? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mikhail. Mikhail. Hurry up, faster, faster. to Mikhail. What happened to Mikhail?
tell you. Let me help you. No, thank you. <sighs> I still can't believe it, huh? To die in one minute like this, when you're 36 years old, huh? Oh, well, of course. Of course, Mikkel was worried about business. Sit down. Edik and Sveta are coming soon. Edik? Uh, Valia, maybe I should tell you right away, well, confidentially? Tell me what? <sighs> well, no, no, well, I understand now. Now it's not the best time, but I'm talking about financial issues. <sighs> Mikhail had a small company. The turnover was scanty, and after the fire there was nothing left, but neither money nor goods. Well, anyway, of course, he would paid all the debts with the money that he saved for an apartment. Yes, I know all of this, and so what? Well, you know, there's no company now. Not on paper, anyway. Of course there is, but sort of... It'll be more reasonable to liquidate it. And what is required? <sighs> Your consent. Well, if you don't mind, of course. I'll take care of all the legal issues, of course. I don't mind. Thank you. Okay, I, I've got to go. So you're not staying here? No. I have a meeting with a new employer. I'm so very sorry. Goodbye. You sleeping? No. I don't want to either. Is Dad never coming to return back home then? No, probably not. Mom said you can't fly back from where he is right now. What did he fly away for? They took him away. He was the kindest and bravest man, and they only take the best ones there. But why don't they let them live here? Mom explained it. They must watch the sky so that the planes and spaceships don't fall down on us, do you understand? I thought it will come back anyway. He'll stay there for a little and then he'll come back to us, I swear. Dad never cried at all. So we can't either. Valya, dear. Irina. Valya, I've come to talk to you about the apartment. Do you want to raise the rent? No, now you're lucky if you can rent an apartment out for this money. So then, what's the matter? Well, my son Kostya is getting married in a couple of days. Yes, you told yeah. me that. Well, I really want it to be like this. The newlyweds will live with me, well, so that we don't lose the income from the second apartment. But I didn't know that Katya was sort of... What is sort of? Well sort of pregnant, the seventh month already. They should have warned me at least. Young people, huh? Well now what can I do with them? The baby's coming soon. They need a separate living space. But we have a contract. Uh, well, the contract expires in a month. We have to renew it, but I can't. Do you want me to move out then? No, I don't really want to, Valya. I understand that you have a tragedy, two children. But we have these circumstances. You can stay for one month more, of course. You have the right. But after that, I'm sorry. I'm not going upstairs. I know that everything is in order. Everything is fine. Yes, I understood you. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. No offense.
thought about your request. Okay, so what? I'm sorry, but I can't agree that we live together again. I just can't do that. Nothing good will come of it. I'm not asking you to put us up forever. Only for a while until I find a job in a new apartment. It's unlikely that you would be speaking like this to me if you had any right to my living space. But fortunately, you don't have it. I'm the only owner of this apartment. You're not even registered. That's right, you took care of it once. You didn't even want to register your own grandchildren there. Well, now you understand why. Otherwise, you would insist on living in my apartment with the children. And now, protects my interests. And you can't force me to do anything at all. Divorce you? Do you need to be forced to help your grandchildren? I don't renounce my grandsons. And will be happy to accept them. But first off, you must solve your problems on your own. You're on your own now. Yes, and call me when you consider my proposal. Rock, scissors, paper. Rock, scissors, paper. Are we going to Grandma Larissa's house? No, we're going to Grandma Tamara. Why not to Grandma Larissa? Doesn't she love us now? Yes, she does. Grandma loves us. She's just feeling very bad now. She'll be better. Soon? Maybe. Well, go play in another room. I need to talk with Auntie Sveta, okay? Well, maybe you shouldn't take them to Vosnesensk. After all, Larissa agreed to take them. No way. I will leave, they will stay, and then my mother-in-law will tell them that I left them. I can feel that she wants to take them away from me. If there was at least something wrong in the documents about the apartment, Yuri could help you out. Yuri? Of course, he's a lawyer. And he would do anything for you. Why would he do that? Listen, well, I saw how he looked at you at our housewarming party. Ten years have passed, but his feelings have not changed. What feelings are those? Why do you think he left the university in the first place? Hmm? To forget you. But it seems it didn't work. No, Sveta, stop it. Wait, you really didn't know about anything at all? You know he did try to date you in the second year. Not really. I was already seeing Mikhail then. Well, that's it. I told him about this and said, don't even think about it. Ugh, she has a fiance. You told him that? That's what I said. He told me himself that he loved you, and when he found out that you were engaged, well, he, he decided to convert from teachers to lawyers. Well, that's how it was, Valya. Well, three minutes before the bus from Moscow and you were moaning, we'll be late, we'll be late, we'll be late, we'll be late. <laughs> we're not late. I have it under control. Well, why are you so angry? Valya's coming soon. Why not happy? Happy and glad. It's just that the house is not hotel size and there's a crowd of guests coming. So when my daughter is coming, there's no place for her at once and your friends are welcome every evening. Listen, don't you worry about my friends, huh? We've been through all this before. You've never even dreamed of. <sighs> now you'll get grandma, 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 <laughs> grandma. Give me grandma, I give me grandma. Them. She misses them. <laughs> come on. My come sweet on. boys. You're my golden boys. Whoa, how much I've missed you, silly boys. <laughs> <laughs> my sweethearts. <laughs> Welcome to the settlement. Good afternoon, Victor. How are you? How are you? <laughs> yeah, well, where? Which ones? Yes, those two there. These ones, right? How are you? All right? Well, okay. 
Yeah. Come on, close it. Well then, let's go. Are you now our new grandfather? Let's just wait and see, little lad. Well, let's go to the end. Come on. Elena, he's just dreaming about your gallery. Well, it's true. I only hear, oh, Miss Elena Yelnetskaya, if I can only have an exhibition at her gallery. Wow, what a sentimental boy, I guess. Elena, well, you must definitely see his paintings at the very least. Well, I mean it. There's something in him, believe me. Why are you so worried about the fate of this man? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh, Lord. Hmm. Oh, well, just uh, someone must help novice artists. Well, as the poet said, young talents are to be assisted. The mediocre get there on their own. Well, this is nonsense. No mediocre artist becomes famous on his own. They never have. Mediocre artists need patronage. Uh, Elena, hmm. well, I'm begging you. <sighs> well, it'll be no trouble for you. Well, some kind of cheering words, that's all I ask. Okay, then. Hmm. But only for you, though. Thank you, thank you. I'll check my schedule. Not earlier than next week. Mm. Why aren't you sleeping? I'm looking at the sky. Maybe Dad will see me from up there. Of course he sees you. Look. Do you see the plane blinking its lights up there? Yeah. That's your dad sending you greetings. Clava told me about you. Well, in a few words. I didn't think you were... I didn't think you were so young to work here. Is that bad? Mr. Kolyuzny? On the contrary. It's very good. <sighs> it's more difficult for senior teachers to find a common language with high school students. <clears throat> uh, did you really want to teach in high school? Yes, the English language. This is my profession. Very good profession. And we happen to have a vacancy for an English language teacher. So write the employment application. Thank you, sir. Well, sit down, huh? The meat will get lukewarm. The veal is just amazing. From new suppliers. Now I'm only going to order meat from my stores from them. Valia's just called. She got a job at school and put the children in kindergarten. Really? Well, how is she? Well, it seems okay. Of course she's okay. Now she'll be vegetating in this nowheresville. You know, it's better than demeaning yourself before Larissa. No way. She should have stayed in the capital. She's going to put the boys in school soon. Where will she take them? To some low-grade school? I told her the exact same thing when she was going to Vosnesensk. She's so strange. Unbreakable. Mm -hmm. You eat the veal. It'll get lukewarm. Fair freedom standing by the tree. Her sons did loudly call men. She sang a song, a liberty, which pleased them and an all men. By the erling, the newborn race soon drew the avenging steel man. The hirelings ran her foes guide chase, and banged the despot wheelman. Robert Burns wrote the poem to show his support for the French Revolution. 
Being an ardent opponent of war, the poet believed that it's only the people's war for their own freedom that can be justified. The Tree of Freedom is an allegory with which the poet expresses the basic idea. People who tasted the fruit of this tree learned the taste of free life. Freedom is a very good thing. That was just great. Victor, what are you doing? What happened? Well, there's such a story. Here I met my friends around the corner. They have a hangover after yesterday, no money on them, and neither do I. And what does it have to do with me? Listen, help me out. Come on, give me some money. I don't have money on me. Valya, help me. Please leave immediately without a scene. This is a school, not a liquor store. So that's how you deal with relatives, huh? Okay, let's try another tact. Hey, young kid! Can you chip in for me, huh? As much as you can, I'll pay you back, honestly. Sure thing, huh? Okay? I demand that you immediately go away before I yell. Oh, what a strict and stingy teacher you have. Mmm. <laughs> well, chip in, let's pass around. Well, well, don't be shy. I'll, I'll sing for you. How I love a cold beer. Foaming in the glasses, da 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 da. Money, little coins, oh my dear friends. What's going on here, Valya? <sighs> Mr. Kolyazny, I. You don't have to worry, Mister. This isn't a robbery, not network. Just a small family scene. I don't understand anything. Who are you, sir? Me. You, you. Yes, I can say I came to say hello to my daughter. I wanted to see her to find out how she's doing in her new job. And she throws me out like some suspicious loafer. So take it easy. What was that? Who is he? Congratulations, Larissa. What do they say? Young talents are to be assisted. The mediocre will get there on their own. Young man, you're so mediocre. Elena. And I have no idea how I can help you. Elena. I can only recommend. Find yourself another occupation. I don't know what occupation is best. That's not my field. Having said that, with your appearance, you don't have to work at all. Oh, thank you very much, Elena. Thank you so very much, and I mean it. Yes, you're welcome. Danila, take your paintings. I'll wait for you in the car. All the best to you, awesome friend. You asked me to come, Mr. Kluyusny? Come in, come in, please. Please sit down, Mrs. Antipova. You see, I couldn't ignore what happened last week in your classroom with that man. Mr. Kluyusny, this won't happen again. I doubt it. I've made some inquiries about your stepfather. It turns out that he has two criminal arrests. What kind of convictions? One was for a drunken brawl in which he maimed his drinking companion, and the second was actually for armed robbery. I didn't know that. He, he's been in our house quite recently, and my mother didn't say anything like that about him. Yes, I'm ready to believe you, Mrs. Antipova. But the point is that this 
This story has already gone beyond the school. One of the students filmed the drunken trick of your stepfather on his mobile phone and uploaded it into the internet. Yesterday, I was already summoned by the authorities with regard to this incident. So what now then? I was told to establish strict order in the school. So, I have to ask you to write a notice of resignation right away. You can't do that! Without even investigating it? Don't your superiors understand this? Mrs. Antipova, the conversation is over. And now, please excuse me if I may, I have a teacher's meeting in two minutes. Valya, don't be angry with Victor. He's a kind man. Well, he just looks like a hooligan. Mom, if you knew that he was a criminal, then why did you marry him? Well, he went to jail. A while back. By the way, so did half of the men here. They sentenced him for nothing. They were all in on it, but he was made but the scapegoat. it's because of him that I was fired from my job. Valya, dear. Well, you'll find another job. Let's go. I have a friend. She's the head of the library. I'll go talk to her. Look, everything will be fine. Don't be upset, Valya. Oh, look who's come home. Hello to the sponsors of Creative Youth. Mm hmm Good evening to you, too. Have you drunk today? Huh? I've changed my profession. Oh, really? To what now? Bohemian alcoholic. I see that. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done. Unrecognized genius in the dump of history. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You still can't forget the conversation with Miss Delnitskaya. No. I have nothing more to look forward to in the city. No one here understands me. No one understands whatsoever. I'd go abroad, but I, I have no money. There's more than enough such unrecognized talents abroad. So it seems to me that you want to escape from me as quickly as possible, leaving me alone, don't you, Danila? Hmm? You have grandchildren already, Larissa. I told you, Valia took them with her. I asked her, suggested that they stay here with me. Oh, uh, of course you said that. So you're not guilty of anything at all, are you? This Valia is a crafty and evil monster who not only mistreated and used you, but she also cheated on her husband. Why? Tell me it's not true, though. Larissa, we'll show off your brains for once in your life. Well, if she really had an affair with this classmate of hers, well... Why would she have left the city when she became a widow? She would have just moved in with her lover right then, that's all. I can't even think about that, you know. Why are you telling me this about yes, her? I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just in some, some, some kind of stupid mood. Actually, I really don't care at all about it. Shall I go? I'll go. <laughs> if you really want me to stay here for the night, figure out how to help me. So far, there's no use of your connections. Only disappointments.
Can't you turn it down? What? I'm saying, can you please lower it? The kids are asleep. Ah. Let them sleep. I don't invite them to dance with me. Uh, listen up, Valia. You should move in with me if you can't sleep here. I'll make your dreams sweet and everything else, too. Oh, <laughs> ah, you're right, Tolian. She's yearning for a man. That's why she's moping around. <laughs> Do you see any men here? Because you're all... You don't be rude to my buddies. I, by the way, was doing time in one cell with them. You should have stayed in there then. What? What did you say? Say it again. I said you should have stayed in there with those two. Hey, you. Well, go throw yourself into your bed, or I'll throw you out of my house and by force. What? I was born in this house. You've only been here for a couple of days, and your only property is vodka. Who are you talking back to, slut? Who are you talking back to? You're crushing me in front of my buddies, huh? I'll show you now. Victor, it's too late to stop. Stop. Stop she it. She should have watched her tongue. Let go cool of me. Down. I want to teach cool her down. a lesson. Cool. Victor, cool you down. Are nuts or what? Come on, relax. Victor, do you, do you uh, want to oh, get jail oh, time oh, again or what? Oh, 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 Go away! Uh. Uh, get out of uh, Come on! Stop it! Hey, stop it! What are you doing? Right. Calm down! No, calm down, no, Victor! No, you you please calm down! down. Victor, no. Get a hold of yourself! Victor, I don't care! Uh, what are you doing? Enough. You're gonna get us all in jail! Enough, Enough of this! All right, stop! You get You're embarrassing here. yourself! Come on, stop. get out! Clava! Stepan! Please help! Clava! Stepan! Clava! Stepan! Please help! Clava! Tamara, what happened, my dear? Victor has got violent. Well, what? Victor's got violent. What? Come on, run! Run! Go faster! Go I'm faster! Afraid. Calm down. Everything will be fine. I'm afraid. Come on, let's go. Everything will be fine, Tamara. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Fine. Victor! Victor! Oh. Oh. Go and see what's happening. Okay. Hmm. Are you frozen or what? Call the police. Uh, we shouldn't do it. I know how it'll all go down. Victor has screwed up, and we will answer for it. We don't need this. It's pure trouble. And if I killed him, what am I supposed to do now? To go into hiding? Hold your horses, man. I think Victor may still be alive. We'll take him to the hospital. If they ask what and where, we'll say that he got drunk and, like, injured himself. Yeah. It seems like Stepan was able to save the girl, and now what's happening? Huh? Now we'll be pressured because of his previous record. No way, fill the glasses. Clava, you're a doctor. Check his pulse. His pulse is normal. But who knows the injury? Maybe a concussion or maybe uh, mm, ah. So this is, what do we do? We have to call an ambulance. Hold on a second. Okay, Stepan, I need you to go get the car quickly, please. I'll take him to the district hospital and there I'll talk to people and arrange everything.
Well, how is he? I think he's okay. They said it's a moderate concussion. Oh, thank God. At least now Stepan won't have trouble now. Say what? Do you feel sorry for Stepan? And what about my husband? Well, that's nice. It's good we've ironed it out without the cops. They would have definitely initialed the case. It would be all over Victor again. Mom, do you suggest that after what happened, I pity him? Well, think for yourself. He was injured, you know, and he'd be put to jail again. It's no secret how they treat people with records. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Mom, I'm sorry, but I don't understand you. He almost killed me yesterday before your very eyes. Oh, he wouldn't have killed anybody. He only wanted to scare you. He Are you serious? Kind of person. He threw himself at me with a knife. Well, he can't control himself, though. Well, especially when he's drunk. It started after jail time. Victor told me himself. Maybe he should have been kept at a resort, not in a prison cell. A rogue, a real one. Oh, a rogue, darling? Your father was a rogue. First he swore eternal love, promised to marry me. And as soon as he found out that I was pregnant with you, he immediately ran away. Victor is a real man, reliable, and if you hadn't been irritating him, he wouldn't have had any of these troubles. Mom, wake up. Is this thug dearer to you than me or your grandkids? What are you talking about, daughter? They own my heart. Victor will get better. Leave the hospital. We'll, we'll talk it through like a family, yes? I'm sure that you'll make peace and we'll all live in perfect understanding. And how long will this wonderful, great pretend life go on? <laughs> Until his next booze night? Mom. Valya, my daughter, well, wait, you didn't understand me. Valya, Valya, well, wait, Valya. Well, 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 I want to explain this to you. You misunderstand everything. Well, my dear, well, I love you very much. I really felt you would be in trouble in Voznesensky. You should have agreed to live with us straight away. What do you mean you'll feel embarrassed to give Edith problems? Do you know how he scolded me for not persuading you then? Valya, that's all. Don't be stupid. Tomorrow you're moving in with us, okay? Agreed. Kisses. See ya. Hello. Oh, I thought you uh, wouldn't show up. Sorry. Traffic. I'm leaving. I'm expected at the Ministry. I don't like to be uh, late, unlike you, dear. Elena, it'll take exactly one minute of your time. I don't understand. Can't we discuss everything on the phone? Well, we can't. I didn't want Anila to hear our conversation over this. What is it? Have you come here to ask for him again? I've already pronounced my opinion, and I have no intention of changing it. No, I, I didn't come for this. I have a business um, a proposal for you. I'm listening. Well, you see, uh, my husband left me two early engravings by Kolesnikov. Well, he gave them to Sasha 20 years ago when he wasn't a famous artist yet, but, but, but now he's a world celebrity. You decided to sell your husband's gift, didn't you? Elena, I really need the damn money. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought it would be much better if these works were in your gallery and visitors could, could look at them or something. No, Larissa, not a good idea. For the gallery, he's too simple. Well, I would take them to hang somewhere in the summer house, I suppose. Uh, I'd put them in the dining room, I think. Five thousand bucks. For both of them. Uh, is Kolesnikov too simple, really? Well, Elena, of course. I'm... I'm sorry to say this, but I, I'm doubting your taste. Seriously? Well, then, in that case, fine. Find another buyer elsewhere. Well, we're finally here. Okay. Ugh. Everything turned out to be so ugly. Yeah, 
Because of this thing with Victor, Mom seems totally different. Kids, behave yourselves. Wait come for on, me. I'm come coming. On. You see where they already run? Well, let's go. Here you are. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> well, don't give up on your mother just yet. She'll come to her senses soon. Thank you very much for everything. We are. But why do we come here for then? We had to visit Grandma, that's why. Are we now going to Grandma Larissa? No, to Auntie Sveta. It's great, Valya, that you decided to move in with us. I haven't eaten so tasty in my life as this week. Well, don't offend your wife. Sveta is a good cook as well. Come on, don't be shy. I've always known you're the best cook in the world. It's a pity that I have a grocery store and not some, like, five-star restaurant. I would take you on as a chef there, like... No, no. thank you. <laughs> I want to work in my profession. Why should you even work at all? My business is fine. I can provide for everybody. You should stay at home and help Sveta. And cook some delicious meals, too. What do you mean? To live off you? No, that won't do. Maybe we should turn to Miss Petrova. Maybe she could help a bit. Who is this? Sveta's friend, the head of a kindergarten. I had an internship at our kindergarten when I was a student. She's so great. And now this great person is also our neighbor. She lives two blocks away from us over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, let me call her. We'll ask her to employ you as a nursery teacher. We could put your boys in the same kindergarten, too. Hmm? I don't know. Kindergarten isn't a school. The children are very small. I'm afraid I can't manage it. You're afraid? What are you afraid of? You managed to cope with your kids. Why can't you work with other children? Well, actually, look, it's a great idea. The place is good. Besides, it's close by just a 10-minute walk. Of course. Come on. Say yes to it. Some coffee. Some coffee. Family recipe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Family recipe it is. I know how to make something, too, by the way. worked with us, then there would be grounds for taking your boys here right now. But I want to work for you, Miss Petrova. Sveta told you, didn't she? Yes, but the employment question is complicated. Do you think I can't do it? Uh, of course, I don't have any experience of working in the kindergarten. No, that's not the but... point. It's just that I have no vacancies at all now. All the positions are fully staffed right now. Well, maybe next time. Well, in two or three months. Rita Filominka will go on a maternity leave, and I would give you her job then, hmm? Thank you, of course, Miss Petrova. But two or three months is a very long time, and I need work urgently now. So thank you. I'll go now. Thank you for your Wait time. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. <sighs> There's one option. But I don't know if you like it. We do... Well, we need a cleaner. So now, if you agree, and later the teacher's job will be yours, okay? Yes. Yes, I will take it. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Larissa, stay still. Uh, yes, yeah. Larissa, well, I, I beg you, just focus for a second. Please, focus on me. You withdraw into your shell all the time. The connection between us gets destroyed. I can't do anything, do you understand? My hand doesn't want to paint. What is it with you now? Have you remembered your son? I've never forgotten about him. Uh, Danila, I'm sorry, honestly. Well, I can't sit for you today. 
Well, well, I can't, sorry. There. That's the look that I need. Here it is. Hold it. Hold it. It's perfect. It's perfect. Nonsense. Well, it doesn't work. Miss Yelnitskaya was right after Again, all. I'm a Ms. mediocrity. Yelnitskaya. Mediocrity, what full stop. Anima? Well, then. Not too bad. Not, not too, too bad. bad. Really? Well, yes. <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. Yes, Danila. <laughs> I like it. Well, come here. Come, come. Look my lips. The oval of my face. She really looks like me. The same exact face. The same structure. Danila, you're just tired. You can't assess your work adequately. Well, really? She looks like me. Don't you think so? I do. Well, the same. Oh, huh? Danila. Both you and me just need to relax. Rest and... Well, let's go to some exhibition or something. Some... to some yeah, gallery. You're right. There's something there. There's something similar. I yes. Know. I won't just say lies, now would I? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah. shall I call a taxi now? Yeah, yeah. Stop, why a taxi? What happened to your car? Uh, I sold it for cash. Danila, well, you know, Mikhail left me nothing, and we... We need money to live on, and, well, I'm making ends meet. Do you mean we're having a financial crisis? Yes, we are. And then what now, Larissa? Will you have to sell the apartment? Well, well, well. I think it won't come to this. Danila, let's not talk about bad things. Change your clothes, please. Oh! Jesus, oh, Lord. I'm sorry. Uh, are you our uh, new cleaner with a university degree? Yes, I was hired. Well... With such appearance, you should go be a fashion model and not scrub <laughs> floors here. What's your name? Valia. My name is Luda. I run the canteen here. Nice to meet you. Okay, we'll see you later. Hey, um, let's go to the canteen and have tea with some patties. Thank you. I'll definitely come later. I must finish cleaning. Come on, throw this mop away, Lord. The inspector only comes at the end of the month anyway. Come on, let's go. <laughs> You know, it's a great exhibition. I read that this is the best exhibition in the whole city. Thank you, Natasha, for bringing me here. Not a bad composition. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so good that we decided to come here, isn't it? Huh? I think so. Hmm? Bankratov says that. The very best contemporary artists are gathered right here. Those ones. Mm-hmm. Have you asked Pankratov to look at my paintings as well? It's useless to ask, you know. Pankratov likes only well-known names. Mm. Yeah, of course. Well then, you don't like it at all. It's great, isn't it? Mm. Brilliant. Not my mediocre, unskilled art. Danila again? Well, do you want to get out of here? Larissa, you like it, don't you? Enjoy the masterpieces. I'll go have a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Valia, you have a hard life, but that's okay. You have the boys, they're your escape. I have no children. Here, have some patties. Thank you very much, but I'm not hungry. I'll take a couple for the boys. 
Yeah, why only a couple? Just a sec. Hold on. Here, take all of them. <laughs> Here you are. Tell the kids that I sent them, all right? Will you do that? <laughs> take them. Thank you so much. <sighs> do, do you live alone? Alone. But all my three husbands are alive. All three. Why three, though? Well, I'm not sure. I've been married three times. But I kicked them all out myself, you know? Well, you know what men are like now, Valia. They bring nothing but problems. Yeah. Yeah. Your philosophy yeah. is quite sad. <laughs> sad, I know. But that's the truth. All right. I'll probably go. It's time I went. Thank you. All right, Valia, listen. You can come to see me if you need anything at all. I mean, we women should stick together. Life is difficult. There's no one that you can really rely on in this world. <laughs> you are right. Thank you so much. We'll see you. Hmm. Excuse me, guy. Got to smoke? I don't smoke. Good afternoon, Miss Yelnitskaya. Good afternoon. Ah! Oh. Danila. That's right. Well, uh, what's great about you? What are your creative aspirations? Hmm? Are you kidding me? What kind of creative aspirations can I have after your verdict? I'm thinking of where it's better to work, in some shop as a security or a cafe server. Why be so gloomy with me? Well, what I told you doesn't mean anything. Well, honestly, I don't even remember the details. Well, I can remind you. You said that I was a mediocrity, and that I had better change professions. Oh, yes. I was wearing new shoes that day, and they were terribly tight. Therefore, it's unlikely that I was objective. So then... Mm -hmm. You mean I'm... You mean I'm not that hopeless? <laughs> we can discuss this issue on the weekend in some restaurant. Call me on Friday evening. Of course it's my treat. Yes, of course I'd be happy to, if it's not a dream. You know, only don't tell Larissa about our meeting. She's so insecure, she might be jealous. We're very good friends with Larissa, nothing more, I promise. Really? Keep in mind, young man, I'm not as prudent as she is, okay? See you soon. I'll call you. Sveta, why aren't you meeting your husband, Sveta? I brought your favorite cake, Sveta. Hello? Sveta called and said that she's delayed at the tailor's. Hello. Hello. Dinner's almost ready for us all. Yes, I know. You can feel this delicious smell from the ground floor. <laughs> Sveta's completely forgotten about me. You're meeting me from work, serving me dinner. I really don't know who my wife is. Don't be silly and shut your mouth. Well, yeah. Look, maybe she's... seeing somebody. Maybe she's... cheating on me. If she's really doing it, we have every right to do the same. What is that? A horrible joke? Oh, well, yeah. A joke. Not a joke. I've always liked a real woman like you. If 
I'd met you earlier, I would have certainly married you. You understand, Sveta, she's... she's good, she... But she doesn't have this spice like you do. Get the damn spices from the stew, you bastard! Oh... A strong woman. A strong... I don't like people acting brazen. What are we going to do now? Will you tell Sveta? I should tell her the truth. <gasps> oh, how I hate these girls that just gossip and chat in this little 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 of yours. Do you want to say that I don't love my wife? You don't love your wife, I guess. Maybe I do, though. You can have it both ways, you know. That's <gasps> enough. Enough. Let's finish this. Let's stop and forget it. Forget we had this conversation. You don't need conflicts in this house, do you? You want everything to be the same as before, don't you? Everything will be the same as before if you don't dare touch me. You have my word then, dear. Go change my clothes. <clears throat> Would you like anything else? No, thank you. I thought a lot about you after our first meeting, and about your paintings, too. Perhaps I was wrong when I spoke about them, so terribly harshly. If you think that I'm truly angry with you, then you're wrong. It's impossible to get angry with such a charming woman. Oh, stop it. I'm sure you cursed me hard once in the past. Well, it's easy to understand. But I can make up for it. Tell me, do you know of... the Biennale of Contemporary Art in Barcelona? Of course I know. They have an opening in two weeks. That's right. My gallery is participating in it. I think the display should include... should include your paintings, too. It's time Europe got acquainted with the rising star of the avant-garde. <laughs> talking about me. Ah. Oh, come on, I'm not a superstar. Remember, young handsome man. Stars start shining when it is important for those that decide who the stars are going to be one day. <laughs> no, of course I'll be happy if my paintings go to Barcelona. Not only your paintings. You will go there with me as well. So you had better get ready. <laughs> In that case, I offer a toast. Mm -hmm. To your amazing proposal. Great glass of wine. In my opinion, the wine here is disgusting. But I have different wine at home. Much better. So shall we go to my place and discuss the details of our cooperation? It would be just the two of us.
Yes, Aunt Allah, it's me. Well, okay, I've prepared everything, and I'll be there soon. Yes, okay, see you soon. Luda. Brought it? Yes, yes, I have. Yes. As usual? Yes. Luda, wait a sec. Why are you here? Don't you have work to do? Yes. You've brought food from the kindergarten here. Uh, are you a customs officer or what? No, I'm not, but I've seen it all. You want to make me ashamed? Do you know what kind of life this is? Life is hard, and the salary is small. And I'm just lucky that my aunt helps me out. So you bring what you steal to your aunt for sale? Family business? Balia, look, let's settle this in a friendly way. You won't interfere with me, and I'll give you some food for your kids. <sighs> Ludo, well, how can you not feel ashamed you steal from children? How can this be justified at all? So tell me, are you gonna turn me in at work? Valia, she will fire me. She... she will absolutely fire me for doing that. Valia, don't wreck my life. Don't wreck my life, please. Try to have some compassion. Okay, this time I won't say anything. But if I catch you stealing again from any other place, then don't ask me. Look at her. Such a straight arrow. Allah! See you later. I'm a ghost, a ghost, a ghost! Give it here, <laughs> it's Edict's jacket. You can't take other people's things like that. <laughs> Did you hear what your brother told you? You can't take other people's things. Let's go to bed, stop jumping, please. This is Edict and Auntie Sveta. Yes. That's it. Go to bed. <gasps> oh, hello. Are you alone? Where's Feta? Uh, she stayed overnight with her mother. In the village, her birthday party took longer. Well, I have a meeting with employees early tomorrow. We're going to expand our retail space and grow more. Then I'll get your dinner ready then. Oh wait, that's not for dinner. Why? Oh, stop playing hard to get, huh? Hands off. Hands off. You promised me. Uh-uh. Sit down and let's talk. Sit down. Sit down. All right. Okay, I can't put my hands on you because you disapprove. And while you can live here, and assume that you don't owe anything to anyone. You can, but I can't. Is this normal? Huh? This is my home. For yourself, could you find such a cozy place with the money you earn as a cleaner? I'll pay you back, for sure, as soon as I can. <laughs> you will pay me back, for sure you will. No, no, Valya, it's time for you to pay for my car. Okay, you don't like me. Think about your kids. About your kids. Where are 
are you going to live with them? With your poor wages, huh? 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 It's okay, that's okay, you'll like it later. Stay at your mother's place? I changed my mind. Uh, I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. Well, of course you're going to cast the blame on Edik now. Sveta, you saw it all. I saw it. I saw. Tell me, how long have you thought of this? <laughs> how wonderful it turns out. I have no children. I'm never going to. And Edith loves children, so you decided to jump at it, huh? Sveta, are you in your right mind? Let's ask Edith here, why is he hiding there? Let him come here and tell us, looking into our eyes, that I am lying, okay? Valya, he told me everything already. He said you were the one who seduced him. Me? He almost raped me today. Well, yeah, he isn't perfect. He's far from it. What kind of man can be when a woman throws herself at him? It's out right now. No. But tomorrow you leave. Yes. Yes, I'm going out already. I'm coming. Yes, Danila. I'm coming. Oh, I hate Larissa. And where are you going now? Well, actually, that's a private matter. Well, oh, we didn't sign a contract according to which I'm here to stay forever, right? So then, goodbye. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. You can't do Larissa. it like this. Let's talk Larissa, properly. Come on, please. Go in. Larissa. I said go in. Larissa, just listen to me. <sighs> Danila. Where are your paintings? Well, I took them to another place this morning. You wanted to escape? Without warning me? I'm grateful for all the good things that you've done for me up until this point. But now, I want to start a new life, you know? I want to find my way to the big art. You, unfortunately, can't help me with this while others can. And who are these others, I wonder? Well, it doesn't matter. Please, now let's wish... Let's wish each other good luck and... Well, let's part nicely. I beg you. No offense. Good. Uh, get out now. Get out of here.
well. I'll be back here in about two weeks. Yes, okay. Just a second. Do you want to be a star? Don't be late. Have this in mind. Get in. Okay, agreed. I'll call you as soon as I'm back. See you. Maybe you should have some valerian. I've already had some, it doesn't help me. Sveta treating her best friend like this? I just can't wrap my head around it. Well, Miss Petrova, I'm not lying. I'm not to blame for anything, honestly. Hold hmm. on. You don't believe me either. Well, maybe I wouldn't. If I didn't know that Edik is a notorious womanizer. And how do you know this is all true? Oh, fuck, yeah. Well, it's a small world. I go to these shops every single day. The shops where Edik is a manager. I know all the shop assistants. I was told a hundred times that he doesn't miss a single girl. All the girls who work for him had to visit his bed first. Did you tell Sveta about this? Well, well, no, I haven't. I feel sorry for her. And where am I supposed to go live now? I have nothing at all. Yes, I would take you to my place, but there are four of us in two rooms. Okay, don't despair. Do you know what we'll do? For a while, you can stay here. What do you mean? Well, in the nap room. You just have to be as quiet as a mouse, and there shouldn't be a single trace of you after seven in the morning. Yes, I understand. And things? We can just put your... All of your things in my office. Hmm? Thank you so much. Hmm. We'll be staying here for a while. And we'll play a game. What game can we play? A spy game. What are the rules to it? Here we'll have our huge night headquarters. No one should know about it. And early in the morning, at 7 o'clock, we'll get up, make our beds neatly, and quickly leave so that nobody sees us. And don't say a word to anyone about us staying overnight. Who will betray you? He's a traitor? Exactly. We won't betray you. <laughs> of course not. You two are my treasure. All right. It's getting really late now, boys. You know why I'm calling you, Zena. We have a terrible thing happening in the kindergarten. Homeless people with their children stay overnight here. Some migrant workers. Yeah. Well, I, I had an idea. As far as I remember, you have a brother in child services. I was wondering if he could maybe come and help, see what's going on here. Or... Mm. Well, you know, Zena, don't tell them that it was me who told you this, okay? Well, that's it, yeah. Okay, see you later.
Still, we had to call the police. Come on now. Maybe it was just a false call. How many of these we've had? My sister-in-law is a serious woman. She won't lie about things. <laughs> Pasha, get up. Slavic, it's time to wake up now. Is it seven? Half past eight now. We've overslept? It's okay, dear. I let you sleep a little more today. It's Saturday after all. Nobody will come here today. Well, we don't need to hide? That's not interesting. <laughs> Let's go wash up. Well, Miss Vitalyeva, you said it was a false call, huh? Yeah. The Child Welfare Agency. Sit down. Sit still. How's she doing? She woke up five minutes ago. Mrs. Antipova, can you hear me at all? Yes, yes. Do you understand what happened to you this time? You were sick in the street and you fell unconscious, you understand? A passerby called an ambulance and then, and then you were taken to our hospital here. I understand. My name is Evgeny Lukinin, I'm your attending doctor. Could you tell me who we should inform of you being here? Your family is probably worried about you right now. Uh, it looks like I have no family at all. So, do you mean that you and your children are registered in Vosnesinski? Yes, I told you we registered with my mother. Uh -huh. And here you are registered temporarily at the address of your friend's home? Yes, it's not far from here. But then you don't actually live with them? And stay overnight with small children just anywhere? Not really. It just happened. You know, my friend and I quarreled and... Ah, that is, the owners of the apartment and you have clashing relations. There are quarrels, probably, aren't there? Drunk and brawling. And your children see it all as well, don't they? Wait, what are you talking about? I don't drink at well, all. Well, we will certainly find out if you are drinking. Or maybe you're trying to use some drugs. Is that possible? Hmm? Oh. Well then, partisans? We're not partisans. We're sneaky spies. What are we going to do? What can we do about it? The mother can't provide her children with proper living conditions as such. They even have to stay overnight in public places. I believe we cannot leave the children with such a parent, though. Let's go, kiddos. We must go now. No! What are you, what are you doing? Are you taking my children away from me? We are. We're seizing them for now. And whether they will be taken from you or not will be decided in court. Give me my children back! Look, she started a fight. Miss Vitalyeva, call the police. <laughs> I don't even want to see you. We got busted because of you, idiot. Why idiot? Why is it because of me? If you hadn't twisted your stupid leg, the cops wouldn't have caught us. What did I teach you, though? If the cops are on your tail, then get rid of the stolen wallet right away. Throw it into a litter bin, into some bushes, into a garbage can. Let them arrest you. Prove, but there is nothing on you. And now they caught us red-handed. Manya, how don't you understand? Because there was such big money there. How could I throw it away? Tell me now. Well, where's the money right now, then? Because we're here.
Why are you so dull, huh? Did they pressure you? I don't understand. This man from Child Welfare filed a complaint. And what does he claim? He says that I attacked him. Beat him up as well. My advice to you, sis, if you don't have a record, sign confession of guilt straight away. But why should I do that? Because if you sign a confession of guilt, who knows? Maybe they'll feel sorry for you. They'll charge you with an administrative offense, not a crime. Uh, where did you hit him at? What'd you say? This guy from the child welfare. Where did you hit him? No, I didn't hit him. Well, uh, I pushed him a bit. They took my children from me, though. Don't shut yourself up for a second. Stand up for once. Demand your rights. Ask for a face-to-face -face confrontation with the plaintiff and repent of what you've done to him. He's not normal at all. He likes torturing people. To be honest, I think he's very normal. He just conned you skillfully, you know? He wants some money. <laughs> what money, though? I have nothing. What, you... you have nothing at all? Yuri, should I go with you? No, Oleg, wait right here. I'm gonna get your testimony from the investigator, and then we'll go to the prosecutor's office. All right. Mukin. Mukin. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Valya. Well, now you'd better get some sleep, okay? Uh, Alisa, Alisa, please bring me a sheet of paper, a pen, and, and an envelope, would you please? Are you going to write a letter to someone? Yes. You can't, ma'am. You have to be completely at rest. I need to get this off my chest. I beg you. Okay, I'll bring it now. Thank you. I don't understand how you managed to get me out. Yuri, how did it go? Please tell me. Oleg, don't worry. Everything is all right. You can go home, and I'm gonna call you. Later, we'll go to the prosecutors. Have you got right, that? Yes. Yes. Well, let's just say that Mukin is an old friend of mine from the law school. So he just dismissed the case then? The case isn't dismissed. You just signed a written undertaking. So can they still detain me? Well, it's unlike Mukin's realized that the complaint of this child welfare agency is total crap. He didn't provide a medical certificate. The witness contradicted his whole testimony. Why did he start all this nonsense? Well, the man's got problems with his nerves. Mukin said he had previously complained that someone had attacked him, beat him up. Not once was the fact confirmed. Is he nuts? Well, sort of. You know, if it hadn't been for your spending the night in the kindergarten, you wouldn't have been detained at all. But Pasha and Slavic were taken to the orphanage. What happens now? Valya. We'll deal with it later. Please, get it. mistake marrying you. It seemed to me that he would have been happier with another woman. But it's not only that. I was sure that this was because of you. That my son paid less attention to me, becoming like a stranger to me. 
felt very lonely and thought that it was you to blame for it too. In the end, I decided to do a terribly mean thing. Outright deception. I made Mikkel think Pasha wasn't his child. But having achieved this, I lost my son. I didn't even realize right away that his death was my fault. It's only now that I understand how meanly I treated you, my grandchildren, and Mikhail. Fate doesn't punish me for nothing. I can't be forgiven, but I still ask you. Forgive me. Forgive me. At least after... after my death. It's right here. By the way, I don't have to discuss any work-related issues with you on my legitimate day off. You are unbelievably lucky to find me here in the office today on a Sunday. I'm sorry, but my children were taken. So what? So what? Yes, they took them away from you. Well, I am sorry, Mother. But everything was performed in accordance with the law. The fact of maintaining children in inappropriate conditions was established. Well, accordingly, we sent them to the orphanage. Our task is to file a claim for depriving you of paternal rights, my dear. Miss Fedorova, <clears throat> you should understand that if it comes to a trial, it will become clear to everyone that there is no reason to deprive my client of parental rights. Just look at her. An exemplary mother. She had to take the children out of the apartment where they, by the way, were registered, but it wasn't her fault. Well, you still have to prove it, whether it was her fault or not and her fault. And we'll prove it. And that's not all. I want to note that when seizing the children from my client, your employee committed gross violations. What violations? Hold on, what are, what violations? I don't understand anything. Are you digging up dirt? Wait a minute, I'll show you. We have everything documented here. Look. The children were sent to the orphanage on the basis of a resolution signed, by the way, by the head of the district administration. Here it is. But there was no act when they took them. They simply took them away. Well, this resolution was drafted today, post factum. The kids were taken yesterday, although they shouldn't have been separated from their mom until the head of the district administration signed a resolution for their seizure. Hmm. Yes, indeed, today's date. Well, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. It's Sorotkin's fault, after all. You see? Moreover, this Sorotkin of yours filed a complaint with the police against my client, where he roughly distorted the facts and made false accusations. Yes, I know that Sorotkin is a troublemaker, and God forgive me, I'm sick and tired of him already. I don't know how to fire him. There is no solid reason for that stuff. So what's the reason? Or should I say lack of? Of course, you can sue my client, and we, in turn, will file a counter-complaint of the fact of your inspector's official misconduct and slander on his part. But why do you need these scandals and proceedings? We can still settle out of court, amicably. What do you think, Miss Fedorova? What do you think of that? We'll settle it all. Huh? You just say the word. <clears throat> We have the permission. Now let's go to the orphanage to get the boys. So now where do I call home? You can go to my place. To your place? Do you have any other options? Thank you, of course, but I just don't... I don't feel comfortable about that. It's okay. I have a large apartment. There's enough room there. Let's go then. Come on, let's go. 
I'm okay. Well, I'm all done with my shift, and well, anyhow, I thought <laughs> I'd see if you were all right and check on you. Uh, I'm all right. Don't worry, please. Well, good. See you tomorrow then, right? Uh, yes. Um, uh, please help me. Could you send this letter, please? What's this? It's my goodbye. Last letter. What do you mean, goodbye? Yes, you did have a heart attack, but it's all right now. You don't need this funeral mood right now, you understand? Please, I beg you to do this. Well, if something happens to me, I beg of you to... to give this letter to my daughter-in-law. To your in-law? Yes, the widow of my deceased son. Here's her number. Surname, if you please. Yeah, but you said that you have no relatives left in your sad life. No. No, Mrs. Anapova. We don't need to say any goodbye letters at this moment. Uh, I'm begging you, sir. Look, listen to me right now. I'm not the worst cardiologist. And our hospital isn't the worst in the town either. We aren't going to let you die, do you hear? I'll call your daughter-in-law and ask her to come visit you and say the truth. It's unlikely she'll want to come visit me here. Well, maybe I can talk to her and get her to come here, all right? Do whatever you want at this point. Well, everything is fine with us, Auntie Klava. Pasha and Slavic go to the same kindergarten. I resigned from there and got a job in a college. Where do we live? At my lawyer's place. Come on, come on, focus right now. <laughs> Were hey, you scared on. by me? Read already. You've learned all the letters for a long time. He didn't get scared. He'll get it right now, won't you, Slavic? Come on, listen. Come on. Mm -hmm. I... I am playing no. with a cat. Mom... <laughs> Mom is at home uh, and uh, dad uh, is yeah. gone. I am waiting uh, for him uh, to uh, come. Well done. What? Ah, oh. hello there. Yuri, are you a teacher like your mom too? <laughs> no, I'm a lawyer. And what is this? Well, something like uh, I defend people. And... From bandits? Come on, get in the car. Come on. That's something. Else. And you? I'll walk there. My student lives nearby the school around here. <sighs> All right then. Well, we'll go for a ride around the city. Celebrate Slavic successes. How did you do it? No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't teach him how to read. And you've... managed it. Thank you. Well, we're leaving. <laughs>
Are you really Valya? Well, good afternoon. <clears throat> I'm Dr. Lou Kinnon, the doctor who called you before on the phone. Please come in. Thank you very much. I don't know what happened between you and Mrs. Antipova, but she assured me that you won't even want to hear about her at all. So I didn't want to bother you at first. But you're still here. Please listen. Mrs. Antipova is ill, okay? Of course it happens that some people after a heart attack live longer, but that won't be her. Unfortunately, the heart is very worn out. I'm afraid she won't last long at all. So then what do you want from me? Not a thing. But she does. She wants to see her grandchildren, to spend time with them at least before her death. And she wants to see you. However, she's unlikely to even ask you her, herself. So she asked me to help. And that's why I'm here now. What is your hospital's address? Mrs. Anapova was already discharged from the hospital yesterday, actually, so she's, she's at home. Yuri, where is your wife right now? Oh, a wife? I don't have one. Mm, so you used to live alone? It was boring, probably. Ah, uh, it was terribly boring. You should have come once to visit us instead. Yeah? But tell me, where is it at, huh? Aww, well, that is clear to you, huh? Guys, I have an idea. Is your football on point? Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's go buy a new one right now, then. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Stop there, Larissa. But I almost died that day, Valia. Yes, I know what happened to you. No, no, no. You can't know this, honey. The doctor couldn't tell you this information. I'm confused. Uh, I don't know how to explain it to you. But in general, after I survived, you know, it's... It's as if a veil fell from my eyes. So what did you see that day? Life, Valia. I saw my life. And what I did to it. Uh, how much... grief I brought... to my closest people. What's done can't be undone. <laughs> I understand. You'll never forgive me. I don't know that. I only beg of you. Let me see my grandchildren. Sometimes, please. Do you miss them that much? Mm -hmm. Whatever you think, I've always loved them, both Pasha and Slavic, and with you. I would like to make peace with you, but... If only it was possible. I thought I would hate you for the rest of my life, but... <sighs> but now I... I think that maybe it's not true at all. In the end, you lost your only son. Uh, uh, Valia... If only you knew how scary... It is to be completely alone. I lost my son. I have no health. 
I have no energy. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. My soul hurts constantly. My soul hurts all the time for you, for my son, for everything, for everything. Valya, forgive me, please. I, 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 I would like you to move here to move here with the boys to live as before. I won't bother you, just just move in here. I can't, I can't live like this anymore when I can't. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'll think about it. to Grandma, and Slavic doesn't want to either. And why is that? We want to stay with Yuri. We have to move in with Grandma. She's in trouble, and she really needs our help now. Then let us stay with Yuri while you stay with Grandma. That sounds like a better plan if you ask me. Don't be silly, okay? Yuri, tell her. You don't want us to leave either. Don't you agree with us right now? Yes, I do. But you should listen to your mom. She's right. You can't abandon your Grandma. I'll come to see you, and you'll come to see me. Your word? Yeah, you have my word. Yuri never lies. All right, let's go. Let's get into the car, and don't forget to fasten your seatbelts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Valya, are you sure? Well, that you can forgive her. I don't know. Yes, I probably can. Anyway, the boys, they aren't strangers to her. Well, let's go then. Valya, dear, why are you up so early, huh? I had a bad dream. Come on, go and get some sleep. Go on. Hmm. Oh. Hello? Yes, Auntie Klava. Mom? When did this happen? Yes, I'm coming right now. What's wrong, Valya? Mom's in the hospital. Because of Victor. Oh, my God. Oh. Hello! Um, did my mom leave for a long time? Well, who knows? We'll see how it goes. What's this here? It is just some old unwanted papers. Look here. This right here is our dad. Yeah. And this here? This is our uncle. Look, a plane. Hmm. He's a pilot. Uh huh. Hmm. 
Look, he's a pilot, see? There he is. Oh, yeah. Well, come on, guys. Let's have lunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Okay. That's okay. Okay, run. Mom. Oh, yeah. God, Auntie Clava scared me so much. Thank God the doctors say there's no danger to your life. That's how it all happened. Daughter, you see how everything turned out? As soon as my eyes opened and I saw the real Victor, I knew he's not my man. Well, finally then. Mm -hmm. I filed for divorce and told Victor to leave. At first he seemed to agree. He moved in with his friend Zorik. And last night he came home really drunk. Why did you let him into the house at all? I didn't let him in. He had his keys. I didn't manage to change the locks yet. He burst into the bedroom, yelled, You've ruined my life, Tamara. Humiliated me in the eyes of the whole city. And then he began to beat me. I ran out into the yard. I thought to hide at Stefan and Clava's place. Only Victor caught me at the gate, knocked me over and started to beat my head against the ground, and then I don't remember. Well, step on her and rushed out and stopped this crap. Well... Now you owe your life to Stepan, I guess, right, Mom? Mm hmm And Victor escaped. I heard from the nurse. I'm afraid he'll come again. He won't come. They caught him in the morning, Auntie Clava told me. Soon the investigator will come to see you. You should sign the testimony. So then... Victor will be tried again real soon. Of course he will. He'll be sent to prison for the third time, and this time for a long time. How are you, daughter? Well, everything's fine. How are the boys? Everything's fine, Mom, thank God. They're healthy and growing. Slavic's learned to read now, mm -hmm. and Pasha can't wait any longer for school. But they don't like Larissa very much. They've become, well, they're estranged from her. That's okay. It'll pass. She is family, after all. Well, I don't know. She's asleep. Let's go, Slavic. Going. Where's mom? I'll tell you later. Let's go. Quietly, 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 easy. Put it down, but quiet. Pasha! Slavic! Well, what is this? <sighs> Hello, Valia, dear. The boys are gone. Just sleeping. <laughs>
find them. I will find them. And then he says to me, well, that's how we've always done it, you know, and that's just ridiculous to me. You have to be open to change. Absolutely, I understand this. To try new Good afternoon. Uh, tell me, have you seen these two boys around here today? No, I haven't. No. Thank you. So anyway, speaking of trying new things. Excuse me, please. Um, have you seen these boys around here at all? No, I haven't. Are you sure? Absolutely. Uh, Excuse me. Does this bus make a stop at Vosnesensky? Yes, yes it does, mister. Well, I'm telling you, the boys, they disappeared after 12. The bus, um, the bus to Vosnesensky leaves every three hours or so. They could have left only on the one that leaves at 1430. So they didn't leave the city. Well, help me, could you please? Ask your field officers. Help me like an old friend. Yeah, I have a photo. Yes, I have one. I have a photo on my phone and I'll send it to you right away. Okay, thank you. Well done. And where are your things? Here they are! Uh. Uh. What a terrible price she paid for her mistakes. Yeah. Sometimes fate judges a person more severe than the prosecutor. In ordinary court, the punishment is mitigated if the guilty person is sincerely repented. But even repentance didn't help Miss Santipova. It did, Yuri. She learned what it meant to forgive and understood that she'd been forgiven. It's happiness, too, and that doesn't happen to everyone. Santipova passed away on the 15th day? 
It turns out that she managed to formalize her will with us three days before her death. Yes. The same day that she gave me your phone number. However, I didn't think that I'd have to call so soon. Well, I suppose you know what it said in no, the No, I don't. Larissa didn't say anything to me, and I didn't want to ask her either. She named you the only heiress and left you all her movable and immovable property. I'm talking about her apartment. All right. Here, take a look. Under the current legislation, in six months, you'll be able to come into the inheritance and register the apartment under your own ownership. Well, excuse me, please, for not thanking you. It's not the... Well, it's not the best reason to say thank you, you know. I'm so sorry for your loss. Your mother-in-law... must have loved you very much based off this. Yes, a letter of some kind. Nothing interesting. Let's make a plane. Mm hmm. <laughs> Look at them here. <laughs> Where are they, though? I don't hear them. They're reading books. Still, I'm sorry that you didn't become a teacher. You would have made a great teacher. Do you know why I left the university back then? I do. Look, we have a plane! Oh, really? Let's launch it then! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. 